know where Detective Sergeant Benton is? Not a friend. Can I help you? Well, can't you call him or something? I need to see him. Why don't you tell me what it's about, and we'll see if we need to find him. I need to confess to a murder. I killed someone. I killed Emma Barton. Now, can you get DS Benton? Where's Charity? Not here. They reckon she went to change a barrel, but that was ages ago. So who's serving? What the hell has got into Veronica? She's steaming. She's not drawn breath for the last five minutes. Paddy! No, no. I am sure she never intended to... No, of course not, Veronica. We are all very, very fond of you. Well, are you sure you couldn't have misunderstood... Hello? Hello? I'd like to know what has come over Vanessa, because she's normally very good at controlling her tongue. Paddy, what's wrong? I think I've just seen something that I shouldn't have. Rona there for you. Well. Um, something to remember. Maybe, when it's late and you're lonely. I am so sorry. Hello. Are we doing refills? <laughs> Where do you want me? There's a stack of veggies want chopping, so uh, how about starting there? Daz, didn't expect to see you here. Oh, well, you know, don't like to brag about my uh, charitable work. Might need to be honest with you. It wasn't that long ago that a hot mug of soup at winter was the highlight of my day. I've brought some veg, courtesy of the calf. Perfect. Stick it anywhere. You've seen Dee Dee off. Try not to think about it. I oh, know. I hate saying goodbye. Should be happier without me there, messing things up. I'm telling you, disappointing your kids, the worst feeling in the world. Nice. Come on, let's get chopping. She's trouble. Maybe that's what I like about her. She's fun. It's fun. She makes me laugh. I'm happier when she comes into the room, you know? My heart... It, it beats a bit faster. That's it. You're too good at this. <laughs> This is how I unwind. You'd be the same if you're my family. You know there are other ways to unwind. All right. <laughs> Mum. I'm sorry, love. He's been charged. What, when? I just don't know what you're going to say. No. B have you heard anything? No, you. No. So, what do you want? Um. Right, it's Alex. Um. Look, I wouldn't be saying anything if, if I didn't really care. I don't think he was being straight with us, love. I mean, the, the hospital and the accident. Did it not sound fishy to you? I'm not saying that he's dodgy. Well, I am, but I'm not. But, you know, I, I don't really know him myself, but... Oh. <laughs> Benton! Benton! Not another dingle making a voluntary visit to the station. Thought I'd seen everything. <laughs> You're gonna go in there, and Maury's gonna talk a load of nonsense. Trust me, she'll, she'll say anything to get Adam home. OK. I can't stop her making a statement. <laughs> She's been seeing someone, a, a counsellor. She tried to give the baby away. I don't think she's got over what happened to Holly, her daughter. And things have just got worse since the baby came along. I'm telling you, she will say anything. Understood. 
We'll go easy on her. Please. We'll do our job, Mr. Dingle. Like we always do. We had enough sugar today. Oh, that's what holidays are for. Yeah. Good old kids. Brenda? They know something's up, but they don't know how bad. But I thought you and Bob were going to sort it all out. Yeah, I know, and I listened to every word he said, I promise. But I, I just can't see how anything's going to change. So this Christmas, it's going to be our last one altogether. Mrs. Dingle, apparently you want to see me. Well, what have they said? You know why I'm here, right? I want to make a statement. OK. Well, you tell us what's on your mind, and I'll decide whether to switch the machine on and record. Well, I can't believe they haven't told you. I killed Emma Barton. It was me. Hello? Is anybody listening? I pushed her. Go on. I, I was in my car and I saw her up there on the viaduct. So I stopped and I walked over to her. She was talking about jumping. Deliberately? What? Of course, you don't just jump by act. Are you paying any attention to me? Perhaps you need to slow down a bit. It's quite simple. I walked over to her. At first I tried to talk her down. But then she did that thing that she does. Did. What thing? got under my skin, you know, she... until I couldn't take any more. And she said something to you? Oh, she said a lot of things to me. But she told me that it was my fault. OK. The point is, I pushed her and she fell. And that really is it. I killed her. Me. Not Adam. And I will write that down. I will say it into your tape recorder, whatever you want. But can we just do it? Please. It's quite some turnaround to go from Smoke inhalation. Labour to fighting on the viaduct. How many times? We didn't fight. I pushed her. It was like she wanted me to push her. You say you saw her from your car. Did you see your son's car too? No, of course not. We know it was there, Mrs Dingle. I don't know anything about Adam's car. So you were just driving by? I told you I was on my way back to the hospital. Excuse me if I'm confused, but you've already told us you were with Kane Dingle and he's corroborated your story. I lied. I lied. She must have really riled you to make you do something like that. She knew what to say. One of the worst things imaginable. That's what they say, isn't it? Losing a child. Well, obviously. And the prospect of losing another to the criminal justice system, I mean, you'd do almost anything to avoid it. I killed her. Now, I've told you why, I've told you how. So when are you going to charge me and let Adam go? Hmm? Well, now where are you going? Has Mum sent you? No, in fact, she'd be mad with me if she knew I was here. What is it with you two anyway? Are you like... No. No, I'm a friend. Don't like seeing her hurt. 
both of you hurt when it could be avoided. I'm not hurt. Come on, Dee Dee. She's your mum. She loves you at the end of the day. Do you know, I read a book once and it said you should treat people like you want to treat them if it was the last time you saw them. You're going to be on a plane for 24 hours. Anything could happen. You could crash, die. Thanks, Daz. I'm glad we're having this chat. Now's not the time to act tough, Dee Dee. How are you going to feel when you sat on that plane and you realise you haven't got the time to put things right? Hmm? Mm. Well, I think you've probably had your fill of Aaron's family for the year by now. <laughs> and, uh, well, I'm sorry for suggesting that you were dodgy. And I'm sorry about the uh, veg slicer story. <laughs> <laughs> I like him. Mm -hmm. It was like you didn't want her to go. I'm, just, I'm, I'm sorry. It's, don't be. You know, I should probably go. I'll see you later. Oh, hello. I wondered where he'd vanished to. Dee Dee! What are you doing here? You're gonna miss your plane. Where's, where's Doug? Outside. We asked him to make a detour. I love you, Mum. Dee <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, I'm the one that should be sorry. I thought I was being fun. I know. <laughs> Just wanted you to have a good time. I did, I did have a good time. Look, why don't you take her to the airport? Yeah, see her off. Please, Mum. We've got it covered. <laughs> Go on. We'll gone now, otherwise she'll miss a plane. Come on, man. I've got nothing to say. I haven't already told you. Relax. We're bearers of good news. Yeah? Well, go on then. Make my day. But am I free to go or not? And don't act as though you do me a favour either. We're not. Yes, you're free to go. Thank you. Someone else has stepped up. Well, what do you mean? Who? What do you care? Who'd lie and risk spending life in a cell to protect you? You'll find out soon enough. Well, this person... Have you charged them? Not yet. Their story had so much detail. So either they killed Emma Barton, or they've heard firsthand from the person who did. What's wrong, Adam? I thought you'd be skipping out of here singing songs, smelling flowers. No? Is there something you want to say? I took my car from the garage. I found Emma and I forced her into my car. I was going to bring her here to confess, but... but... she got out. And she ran towards a viaduct, so I followed her. 
She, um... She said she was gonna end it. But she just stood there... ranting about what scum I am. Even after she killed my dad. Tried to kill my mum. Tried to shoot me. She was just blaming everyone else. <laughs> and then I grabbed her. Why? <laughs> I don't know. It was just automatic. Yeah, I, maybe I wanted to save her. But then she just started struggling and it got out of hand. Look, I had to fight her off. I mean, if I didn't, it could have been me down here. But please, you got to believe me. I never wanted any of this to happen. What happened next? I knew she was dead. And I was scared, so... I took the car back to the garage. And then... Um, I told Kane that the... that the tires were noisy, so... So I changed them. That's what happened. Do you want to know something funny? I've just heard almost the same story from somebody else. My mum, right? It's because I told her. <laughs> so, what are you waiting for? Let my mum go. Just let her go. Did you get off all right? Yeah. Listen, I don't know what you said to her, but thank you. That was a really kind thing you did. Have dinner with me. OK. Tomorrow. I'll cook. And no soup. <laughs> I really hope I've not lost your business, you know, with Veronica. Oh, I wouldn't worry. We'll send Paddy to go and make nice. Maybe you'll have to muck out her horses in a French maid's outfit while she takes photos. I hope so. Look, Charity, I, I don't want any misunderstandings. I mean, this was fun, but... It's not like we're suddenly a couple. Don't flatter yourself. A couple of weeks, I'll be bored here. Where have you been? Have you seen my son? Is that where you were? So, what's next? Have you let him go? Do you need to know anything else? DC Wilson will show you where you need to be. This way, Mrs Dingle. You take me to the cell. Is that where we're going? So do I get to make a phone call, or is that just in the films? Stand up. We're going. You know, I, I'd quite like to speak to my boy. Plenty of time. Where am I going? Nowhere exciting for the time being, I'm afraid. Recognise this place? Home sweet home. Go on, Mrs Dingle. Try and get some rest. No! No, you've got to roll! This was you, wasn't it? 
This is your fault. No, don't you dare. Right, we'll go in my car. I'll come no, I'm not going anywhere with you. Couldn't you just let me put this one thing right? No, Kane! You won't be here for long. We need to speak to the CPS, then most likely I'll come back to collect you and take you to see the custody sergeant, who will then charge you with the murder of Emma Barton. Do you understand? See, all those things you did, all those lies you've told, it's over. That has got to be a relief. No? Some things are about to change forever for Billy. Next, we're in Coronation Street. Then after that, at nine, Gordon Ramsay and Gino DeCampo go head to head, along with Fred Siriex, to cook up a great Christmas roast for some very deserving diners. Our five nights of festive entertainment continue.